Hi, I'm Karen Irace, your Main Street president. Every day, real estate agents put themselves at risk. Common real estate practices, like marketing yourself, showing a property, or hosting an open house, can put you in a dangerous situation, especially when showing a property to a client you've never met or hosting an open house all day alone. The most important thing you can do for yourself and your business is develop a personal and professional safety protocol that you follow every day with every client every time. A safety protocol is good business practice. It means you take your safety and that of your clients seriously. The Little Red Book, Safety Rules to Live By for Realtors, which some of our esteemed instructors will highlight in this video, focuses on the instructions, principles, philosophies, and tips members of the National Association of Realtors utilize to empower themselves, become more aware, and be safe real estate practitioners. Our commitment is to you and your safety. 39% of real estate professionals have experienced a situation that made them fear for their personal safety or for the safety of their personal information, according to the 2016 Member Safety Report. Having a mantra or a philosophy can help guide your interactions, communications, and activities and keep safety at the forefront of your business. Making money never overrides common sense and personal safety. Pay attention to the gift of fear. Trust those warning instincts. Planning and being mindful of your business and your own personal safety will create your comfort and security. Be smart. According to the 2017 Identity Fraud Study, approximately 15 million United States residents have their identities used fraudulently each year, with financial losses totaling upwards of $16 billion in 2016 and is expected to grow by $1 billion year over year. On a case-by-case -case basis, that means just over 6% of all adults have their identities misused, with each instance resulting in approximately $3,500 in losses. It really is hard to protect your identity in this business because you do want everyone to know who you are and what you do. You want your name to appear on every website and every Google search. Subscribe to a protection program through your credit card company that will help alert you if false activity is taking place. Never write down passwords, open questionable emails, or provide personal information or account information unless you verify who's receiving it. Shred all documents with personal information, credit card numbers, bank account information, social security number. Have your credit frozen so no one can open new accounts without your permission. Protecting yourself from people trying to steal your identity is one thing, but it's also important to stay safe in this digital age. It is important to protect not just your name and identifiable information, but also to protect your reputation as a member of the National Association of Realtors and as a real estate professional. Remember to stay safe online and develop principles for doing so. Concerning social media, take the time to understand the fine dance between putting yourself out there and not revealing critical personal information. Review all security settings for each app making sure your location is only accessed with permission. Read all privacy features and learn to use them before using any app. We encourage our brokers to engage, but to practice safe surfing, not to disclose personal information, going on vacation, being close guarded about big events in your life, large purchases, etc. Preparation is paramount when it comes to staying safe. Having a safety plan in place can make a huge difference. Do you have a professional safety protocol? Does your brokerage? According to the 2016 Member Safety Report, only 44% of brokerages have safety procedures in place. Meet people at the office or another public place before visiting any homes with them. Share your daily schedule with friends and family. There's an office that uses a name, Henry Miller, which stands for Help Me. When they leave the office, they let someone know where they are going since they are from a rural area. If they sense they are in danger, they try to call the, the office and say, please let Henry Miller know I will be running late. That throws up a red flag, police are called, and someone in the office will come to the property also. It has worked on several occasions for them for different agents who have felt they were in danger. 
Don't have your hands full when approaching your vehicle. Have your keys in hand so you don't have to fumble around, especially at night. According to the 2016 Profile of Home Buyers and Sellers, 50% of recent buyers used open homes as a tool to find their dream home. While they can be a great resource for potential buyers and a selling strategy for homeowners, safety at open homes is always an important concern. Have sellers prepare and remove their go bag, which should include any medications, jewelry, firearms, etc. Have at least two people staff the open home. Have a trusted person you can check in with via phone at specified times. Also, be on the phone with this person as you're locking up. Don't park in the driveway if possible. It is not good to have your car blocked. Position yourself and materials in a safe location, such as near an exit. Allow the visitors to view the property and meet you back at a safe location for questions. Make sure clients lock up all valuables that could easily be taken. Don't offer food, just bottled water so the open house attendees don't stay longer for the food. Did your parents ever tell you that it isn't all about you? Well, no truer words can be spoken when it comes to the real estate business. Working with clients and developing safe and productive relationships with your clients can mean success or failure in this business. According to the 2016 Member Safety Report, 69% of members said that their real estate office has standard procedures for safeguarding and proper disposal of client data and client information. Never take more client detail than required. On proof of funds, remove the account number. Use DocuSign instead of sending documents to clients via email. Change the password on your email frequently and consider keeping your real estate email account separate from your personal email account. Keep client information protected as if it's yours. Use password protection. The best piece of advice I've ever received for safety is never meet a client that you don't know by yourself. Always have the first meeting with a client that you don't know in the office. If the client is not willing to come to your office first and respect that you are concerned about your safety, then that's not a client I want to work with anyway. Always be prepared for any situation. Don't let your head overrule your instincts. If, 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 if it's instinctive in you and you feel that there's something wrong, there's probably something wrong. And don't let your head overrule that. Be safe, not sorry.